Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Estatino Artist channel where we help you simplify your marketing so you can amplify your results. Today's video is gonna teach you a few design tips to make text look better when it comes to putting text on busy backgrounds. So this is gonna be really important if you're designing graphics like YouTube thumbnails or other social media graphics and you want your text to stand out and not get lost in the busy background. The cool thing is in this video, I'm gonna share these tips with you that you could do on any design platform, whether you're using Canva or Photoshop. So let's get started. All right, so I've pulled up a random photo here that's just it's busy, it's got a lot of stuff already. You know, if life was perfect, you'd have a photo with some empty space on the side and you can put your text there and all would look good. But that's not always the case. So here's what we can do. The first thing, let's just add in the text here. So let's pretend this, uh, this is gonna be a thumbnail on how to edit your videos. And let's just move this into place. All right, so black is already getting lost. What if we change this to white? Uh, and yes, it stands out more, but it's still too busy because there's that camera in the background. So here's what we can do. I'm gonna just capitalize all of this uh, so that you can see it better. And I usually play around with the sizing in general of the text and I like to make it bold because that naturally makes things stand out more. The font is also very important, but I'll talk about that in a second. The first, pretty much the easiest way to do, to make your text stand out is to place a color block behind it. So right now you see that I've created some white text on this busy background. And I just need to create a contrasting color block behind the text so that it pops out. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to select black and put a rectangle shape right here and then click and drag to mimic the size of this. So I'm gonna do it for all four words here or four lines rather. I'm gonna do it again here and then again right here. And then what I'll do is I'll put all of these rectangles behind the text so you can see what it looks like right here. So if I'm zooming out, you can see how that text pops already rather than if we didn't have those color blocks, right? So that's one thing that you can play around with. Make sure that you are using contrasting colors. So my text was white and I opted out and I opted in for black. If your text is, let's say you want to put your text in a dark purple color, then your blocks might be either white or even yellow because yellow is a complementary color to purple. And if you're not sure what com color combinations look good together, I'm gonna put a link for you in the description to the Adobe Color Wheel. So what you can do with the Adobe Color Wheel is come here, select complementary, and let's say you want your text to be this light blue color, then you can come in here and see the contrasting colors that go well with it. So if your text is this light blue, then you might wanna have this as the background for it. Always think light and dark, light and dark, no matter what colors you're using. All right, so back here, the second thing that you can do instead of using these color blocks is create a transparency behind the text. So I'm just going to get rid of these things here. I'm going to come to the rectangle tool again and click and drag. Now, that's by the way, another thing you can do is just create an entire block behind it. But you know, sometimes it doesn't look as good and you wanna show a little bit of the image behind it. So you can make this more transparent. Uh, you could do this on Canva as well. So I'm just gonna reduce the opacity of it like so. Uh, and you can adjust and see what looks good, maybe a little bit more. And then again, thinking about the contrast, 
I want to make certain words stand out. So edit your videos is like a key word here if I'm creating this as a thumbnail. And I might want to just go for something super colorful and bright. Or I liked that teal color right here. So we could do this. You could also use a combination of the first method and this method. So let's bring one of our blocks back. Oh, I kind of moved it out of place. So let's just say I want to highlight the word edit. So I'm going to move that block into place. Uh, and we can change the color of this to Let's make it like a yellow highlight, which means I'll need to change this right here to black. All right, so something like that already stands out quite a bit. So I'm using a bunch of different um, methods here. I'm using the transparency, I'm using the color block. You can play around with complementary colors like I'm doing. Now, if you don't want these blocks and all of these uh, these rectangles behind your text, there is another thing you can do as well. So let's just change all of this back to white. And color, by the way, is gonna be very important in terms of making your text stand out on a busy background. You really have to choose the right color so that it contrasts nicely. So this image already is a darker image, which is why I'm starting off with white. If you have a really uh, busy light colored image, then you may wanna start off with black text and go from there. Now, let's say I don't wanna add any more blocks behind this. What I can do is use the text effects to add some, a little bit of shadow, a drop shadow behind here. Now, there are many other options that, you know, we have here, there's like doing an outline, for example. So there's the outline, there's the glow. Um, there's a bunch of other things that, you know, might be specific to your platform that you're using for designing. But generally I stay away from the outlines and the glows just because it's a little bit too tacky. It's not, it doesn't come off as very clean. It comes off as very dated and tacky. So what I still use from this list here is the drop shadow. You need to play around with the, it can't just be a drop shadow like this because you can see it's still quite busy. So you'd need to play around with the distance of the shadow as well as the size of the, sh the shadow. Generally, I like to make it 100% opacity so the shadow's not transparent and it adds more of a solid black behind it. And what I do is give it quite a bit of distance and you can see here oh, just less size. If I decrease the size all the way, it's just gonna make it a solid shadow. And if I increase it too much, it's just gonna be a haze. So you gotta play around with it and see what looks best based on your, um, on your image. The spread as well, I can play around with a spread. I'm not sure if you could do that on Canva, um, but you can play around with the thickness of the shadow. So you can either leave it at that with the shadow or if certain words, again, based on your picture, if certain words are getting lost, then you may wanna use a combination again with that color block behind it. And I might wanna change the color here to a blue so that it just stands out better. And I don't particularly like the shadow when it's on the color block. So I would go ahead and remove the shadow there to just make it look better. But the other words I, will, I would leave with a shadow so that it stands out more. You can also play around with gradients. I'm gonna create a gradient layer here. I'm going to make it come off from the side and we're gonna put this behind the text. So you can control how far over the gradient covers the image. So it's covering it quite a bit. So I just wanna push it back a little bit like so. But you can see here that already, and maybe it's better to align it towards the left like that. 
and uh, you can see here it's already standing out quite a bit let me just change the background to light so you can you can see what it looks like better the gradient is just like hazing that background contrasting color across the entire image but putting the solid color behind here and fading to a transparent because if you pick another color that it fades to and make it a solid, then you're gonna lose out on the picture. So make sure it's fading from a solid color, contrasting color to what you have your text on, to a transparent. So those are just a few quick methods to really make your text stand out across a busy background image. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, hit like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.